We do not care. All right. Now it's time for Monday Night Raw, oh, September 1st, yeah. 2003. Uh, otherwise known yes. as the uh, Kane Balls <laughs> Electrocution on the Shane episode. <laughs> the Kane Shane Balls edition of Deadlock. Uh, before we get into that, let's take a look back at the Observer Notes from around that time. We have... Uh, a couple interesting ones here, James. There's one that I'm actually fucking blown away by. I'm wondering if maybe you knew about this. Uh, from the September 1st, 2003 Observer, uh, All Japan news here. Hernandez doesn't just have an uncanny resemblance to Kurt Angle when he wears a Stars and Stripes amateur singlet, but they have him coming out to Angle's music and doing Angle's uh, move repertoire like the Angle Slam and Ankle Lock. He's also getting more over on this tour what than he did in the 2003? past. 2003. How many remember his previous All Japan gimmick? It was a tag team called the Iron Sheiks. Now I read this and I was like, that's, I was like, what Hernandez was in All Japan in 2003? So I looked it up and I'm sending you an image. You got an image? Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just Hernandez. TNA Hernandez. Dude, what? The, just, why did they just do this? They just, they just gave him Kurt Angle's whole shit. That's awesome. I couldn't believe that's it. That's his best gimmick ever. He looks incredible. Yeah, he does too. look great. It's good singlet. Like, he the way that works insane. is good. Yeah. yeah, that's great. He also was in a tag team called the Iron Sheiks in All Japan, which I couldn't find anything that on. That is fucking but crazy. Hernandez had a crazy-ass run. What if, like, Dixie saw this and she was like, look, you guys got to trust me on this? <laughs> <laughs> Cheer him. He's an American hero. <laughs> Here's uh, another thing here that I also have to send you a picture for. I don't know if you'll remember this guy, but I'll send you this image and it might... Cause did you watch, how much of Tough Enough did you watch? Uh, I mean, I've seen some of it. At least the ones we watched. Okay, well, Tough Enough Season 3 had this guy right here. Uh, his name was Scott Chung. Uh, and it says here, remember Scott Chung, the goofy guy from Tough Enough 3 who ended up being cut because he couldn't get the wrestling down, even though they clearly wanted to keep him because his immaturity made for entertaining television? Well, he is now has a tarnished name on the indie scene. Uh, just this weekend, he was booked uh, in a show in West Virginia, and, the, and he called the promoter to say he had to cancel because he had to do an interview with the WWE magazine. Of course, he actually did an appearance instead at a wrestling convention. <laughs> he fuck? did agree to work the promoter's next show for a lower price than he agreed on in the first place, but was turned down. Two other area promoters had similar experiences with him, so people stopped wanting to deal with him. <laughs> Oh, what? I, I, I gotta do a mag. I gotta do a WWE magazine interview. I can't fucking so make it. Not gonna work the show. Get in the magazine. I guess he, you think. I'm assuming he got more money to do a convention. And Had no bumps. to, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but like, which? Oh, sure. But like, yeah. But back then, like the indies were like like a lot tight knit. Like if you fucked up at one sure. indie. You're fucked up at all the indies. Yeah, like, yeah, they all were connected. It's not, yeah. it's not so much like that anymore. But like, it I used heard about to that be. Scott Chong. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Ain't bad. working here. I'll tell you that. No dude. way. Yeah, right, Peter. Give me all Japan, Kurt Angle. I need that <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> this kid looks good. <laughs> the September eighth, two thousand three Observer. A uh, little news from Mexico. The El Hijo del Santo versus Super Parka Mask versus Mask match, uh, which will be one of the biggest matches of the year in Mexico, takes place on ten ten in Tijuana. Parka will be getting uh, will be getting in the forty thousand to fifty thousand dollar range for his payoff for dropping the mask. I wanted to bring that up because I guess I never considered that they would like guys like that would get paid a crazy amount to do the fucking dropping the mask gimmick. I just assumed you know it's your time to drop the mask and you fucking do it. Sure. Like, do you think Kane got paid more to take off the hood, or Vince just said you're taking that shit off? Oh, no way. He doesn't get paid shit. He's like, you take yeah, the mask off, or you may get paid at all forever. So, You think it's just like because of how important the mask is in Mexico that it's like, Yeah, I right, think it's gotta... way different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Kane was like, get the fucking mask off me. Get the mask <laughs> yeah, off me. <laughs> and then he said, put it, please put this shit back on. I fucked up real fuck bad. It, fuck I, it, I, I suck. I suck I, I, so I thought bad. you guys were going to book me good. I, I'm bad. <laughs> Uh, we have some TNA nudes here. Uh, Dusty Rhodes was in uh, for a shot and even did a job in his bull rope match specialty for Gilberti when, you guessed it, there was outside interference as Daniel Disco? KO'd him with Nux. Yes, Glenn Gilberti, Disco Inferno, beat Dusty Rhodes in a bull rope match. Who the fuck booked that? Well, I assume maybe his friend, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Or his other friend, Vince Russo. <laughs> Could have had something Crazy to do with friends, it. man. 
Jared was mostly cheered, but heard noticeable boos every time he successfully KO'd people with a guitar. Jared was not happy with the boos. The company said the boos came from the heel section of fans that haven't been around in several weeks, but came back because they thought Raven, who is their favorite, had to win the title this time. The company was unhappy with them in the past, and Bob Ryder spoke to them about their reactions. Uh, Meltzer says, I've heard different versions of what he said, but the company's take is they set aside seats for the fans and had no problems, but about six weeks ago, Ryder told them the company is going in a different direction with the strong face versus heel lines, and that he basically thought they should play into it. They complained about being censored and stopped coming for most of the po- uh, most part, although a few have trickled back in over the past few weeks. Uh, before the show, security confiscated several signs because they consider them either uh, racial, uh, something along the lines of D'Lo Brown not really being black, or in poor taste, calling women characters whores. Jarrett, upset that they were booing him, told Bert Prentice to give them the word that they weren't welcome to the shows. So there is a lot of fucking fan controversy going on. Yeah, what the hell? In the fucking fairgrounds. They have a, I can't believe Meltzer knows them as the heel section of fans that were, were fucking booing them. Yeah, I guess they maybe a, if we're in the same location, like, you know, you you kind of get that section. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I, was wow. I was with them until the end. I was like, oh, okay, they're fucking rocking. All right, yeah, boo whatever the fuck you want. But, like, then they were just having some bullshit going on. And Jarrett's like, get them the fuck out of here man <laughs> yeah that's like what the fuck i, I don't know yeah. yeah i don't even know how they yeah you're right until until it became like real fucked up they set seats aside for them right like they were hooking them up and they came and were shitters at the show and you turned on <laughs> us you fucking that, bastards that sucks now, yeah. you can, now you can go watch the wwe get the yeah, fuck out of here fuck <laughs> off and raven's never fucking coming back <laughs> he is out of here he's getting and if he does he's getting his ass beat <laughs> all the time <laughs> all the fucking time uh the actual story on why the speaking of raven the actual story on why the raven versus cm punk roh match was canceled was because jeff jarrett told raven that if he lost his hair in roh that he wouldn't use them until his hair grew back damn <laughs> And because this annoying ass section of fans, I fucking hate them, and I want them to die. <laughs> Ruined our lives. Uh, Raw on uh, September 1st, which is the show we watched, uh, was surprisingly the highest uh, rated episode of the show uh, since 512, and unlike on 825, when the rating was high and the viewership numbers were not, that was a strong showing across the board. Uh, so this show did pretty okay, surprisingly. I don't know if it's because of the follow-up of Kane fucking dying, or... I think this is coming off the pay per view. Is that right? I think it's coming after SummerSlam. Uh, Perhaps? yes. SummerSlam was recently with the Elimination Chamber. Yes. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, rating was good for this show. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. 2003. They were. St- I mean, like they were like going down, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. Sorry, terrible. I didn't even say the rating. The show did a 4.33. Yeah. That's uh, I mean. which that was is probably bad fucking... for the time. I'm sure. Like that. Was, yeah. But fucking. You know. What's we're all doing now? Are they still under? They got like two? a two or something this week. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, all the time when I look back at these old shows and the ratings, it's like, it's T- I mean, I, I feel like we mentioned a lot, but ECW and TNA kind of had the same where they were both doing like ones. And that was like, wow, you, this is a dying fed. <laughs> yeah, really. I, You know, I, I don't even know how wrestling would be like if you could uh, kind of add together people who watch on the internet or whatever that you know what i mean oh my like, god yeah because I, I just difference. assume yeah i you know honestly i would probably assume that a four back then probably is like a two right now to be honest with sure you. I, uh, okay just, yeah just because like for the inflation way that, yeah just the way that people watch tv is not the same and i assume like yeah hey, at least half of those people are probably on the internet watching it now or or you know just not watching <laughs> or like yeah that's pro i mean i wonder how the like the view count on like a watch wrestling video is you know what i mean like how many people are just watching yeah on or, or watch like hulu on. or youtube or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah any of that shit i because i know i mean a lot of people just watch the hulu recap overall but it's only like an hour and a half or something. oh shit. fuck you're right that's fucking cool yeah so i don't know R- ratings are really interesting uh de- de- tv's definitely not where it was back then no no we were way. lining up to watch like family guy and fucking the simpsons back <laughs> oh my then, you know? dude they were ro- fucking who wants to be a millionaire was fucking <laughs> deep dicking everybody <laughs> they were lining up to watch that shit hell yeah man yeah, I, I love that shit. shit fucking regis you bastard turn this show <laughs> i love this shit <laughs> that's real shit right there man yeah 
Uh, and last uh, but not least here, uh, Randy Savage seems to be working his own angle for a match at WrestleMania 20 with Hulk Hogan. He's gotten some publicity of late for his recent rap record, which includes two wrestling tracks. The first, My Perfect Friend, is dedicated to Kurt Hennig. The other is a rip rip job. That is <laughs> the, the, the verbiage here. Rip job on Hogan called Be a Man, calling him afraid to wrestle him. Uh, during an MTV interview, Savage says the fans are demanding it, especially when you get to the hip-hop culture. We got him boxed in right now, and I think the fans want to see Hogan and Savage fight it out one more time. He even specifically said he wanted the match at Mania. Stranger things have happened. Savage has been gone for so long, it may have nostalgia value, but Hogan versus Piper was kind of the same deal, and it tanked bad earlier this year. <laughs> so, Dude, that would have been crazy. <laughs> Hogan and fucking Savage at Mania 20? Yeah, that would have been, been nuts. Been, yeah. Did you? I'm assu- Did you own the Randy Savage CD? CD? No, I didn't own it. I've heard it. You've? Uh, do you like Be a Man? <laughs> I, I mean, that's- <laughs> his legend. That's one of. Yeah, I mean, there's, out of all the songs, I feel like the- Be a Man and My Perfect Friend are the only ones I Be really a man know. Is, like the top is probably the best one on the, the whole album. Can we do, like? Do you think that would work if we did like a like a Watch This or something of like us? How can you fucking listening- bitch? Of us listening to this fucking album. <laughs> yeah, I'd be rocking out while I play Apex Legends, this guy in the background. <laughs> the fucking be a man. Hogan's a fucking bitch. Yeah, be a man, Hogan. <laughs> Come on, don't be, don't be scared was like a, a fucking WWF chat meme forever. Savage looked crazy. Savage had a crazy dark, look. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Hat dark and all that shit. fucking yeah, rock and beard. Glasses. Yeah, that was. Hey, follow he came up to by TNA the way. looking just like that, huh? Remember, so the Thunder we watched, mm-hmm. Macho Man comes out. Right? Does the big schmoz. Never shows up again. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> he just... Yeah, that was it. His big return, he says. He, he grand opening, the, grand closing. Was <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was awesome. I had no idea. That's awesome. Because they made like a huge deal. He had the, yeah, he didn't even take off his hat or his jacket or anything. He just He just got came in there. and beat everyone up and eliminated himself and then didn't show up again. Cool. All right. Yeah. That's Savage Style. <laughs> Fuck that's, you, Hogan. Be a, be a man, man, Tixie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for the Observer Notes. All right. So now it's time to get into oh, the yeah. actual episode of Raw here. Yeah. Um, the, the, the guns. No, no, the no. Guns. Hold on. Hold on. The guns. No, nah, no. Nah, bring it back. We, we have drugs. No drugs. No sex yet. What? Celibate. Yeah, that's right. Damn it. Cold open. It's Kane. Kane has been taking out everybody. He's Tombstone RVD. He's Tombstone Linda Ellerby. He's Chokeslam Shane. That's true. Linda (laughs) Ellerby. Linda McMahon. You've never... I don't know. There's no way people know who you're talking about. Linda McMahon. (laughs) You you just... You don't preface it. It's just that's who it... Like, I had somebody ask me the other day, who's... Like, what's Bubbier? (laughs) That's not me. I don't say that. Tony (laughs) thing. I don't get it either. So Shane, you know, Shane. Also, by the way, sorry, not to, not to. There wasn't the no guns and drugs, but there was the Bischoff picture, Austin picture intro. Yeah, and it's fucking dude. They piped in Chance. <laughs> Stupid ass company. Is that piped in? No <laughs> yeah, it's piped in. No way. Yeah. Oh, did they I just fucking break kayfabe cold. for you? They love the Stone no, Cold. No, not like that. What do you mean? They fucking piped that in this shitty ass company, ruined kayfabe. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane, anyway, Golden, Linda McMahon, <laughs> Linda LRB has been destroyed. Everyone is getting fucked up here. RVD Tombstone on the stairs. Shane chased Kane down into the backstage area, uh, and then Kane attacked Shane from behind. Well, Kane, yeah, Shane. That's right. Yeah, Shane, you're right. Sorry, I thought Kane. Kane just left through the crowd for some reason. Just he choked Shane. Laughing. Said, "That's all I need. That's all I needed." And went through the crowd laughing. Because he's taking down the McMahon family one by one. RVD, uh. Linda Ellerby, <laughs> Shane McMahon. <laughs> right. He's almost done. <laughs> the first thing he has left is Jordan Peele. And then he's finished with the George whole family. Lopez is coming soon. <laughs> so Shane chased Kane down in the backstage area. Kane attacked yes. him from behind. And then there was a oh whole... My area oh dedicated to gasoline <laughs> brand gasoline i couldn't believe my eyes i was like i was like oh okay they got the fucking gimmicks there specifically gasoline brand gasoline back again and how long i mean this can't be too long after the fuck you kane that like this is probably pretty close to that right dude 
what the fuck were they all lined up on the wall for? I don't know. Was yeah, this I the don't... gasoline area? <laughs> it was, and it was under a tarp, so Kane specifically, I think, hid it there and knew that Shane would go here to fight this him. This is crazy. Near the dumpster. He knew this was going to happen, so Kane activated the QTE, picked him up, he walked him over, all you had to do was press X, and Shane fucking reversed it, because Kane's not quick enough. The dumpster is on fire at this point. It's engulfed in flames. JR, There's someone, a lot no, show, of fire. Someone please help this kid. It was a lot, yeah. So Shane reverses Kane and then kicks Kane into the dumpster on fire. Kane falls backwards into the dumpster that let is us, on fire. Let us paint the picture a little better here. Uh, sure. This dumpster is fucking on fire. I mean, it is <laughs> it, fucked, yeah. engulfed. It is a it, genuine dumpster fire. I mean, in the pure, but like on purpose and way more with five pounds of gasoline, brand gasoline dumped into it. Kane falls backwards into it and is burning in hell. And Shane says that burn in hell, you son of a bitch. He is the, the horror movie one liner. <laughs> Liver. Yeah, yeah, game over. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> they fire extinguished the dumpster, and I thought they were going to be like, oh my god, Kane's not there. I don't think they said that. They just fire extinguished the dumpster and then moved on. I, You know what? I, But for some reason, and maybe I made this up, and someone will, I'm sure, tell us, but I, for some reason, remember the episode ending with Kane not being in it's there. It's gotta be. It's gotta be him not being in there, but the way the video then, package was, was because later on, Shane goes, I hope it's still burning. They, yeah, and then they, J, the way JR talks about it is saying, like, it's a revelation now that we are finding out that he's not dead. So, I, But for some reason, I feel like I remember the, the down shot of the dumpster would have not in it. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I speak for the dead. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> it, he just walks away. Yeah, that's it. And Kane is dead, but he's not dead. The fire also two staff members with just fire extinguishers put this out. Can we also talk about how only two staff members came when a member of the roster almost died or <laughs> died as far as they know? He's dead. As I mean, he should be dead. At and least. also keep in mind that how much fire this was. There this was, was so on TV much fire. Too. You're right. <laughs> and nobody cared. No police. No, Stone Cold went to Brian Pillman's house. They had the fucking cops on the line, or at least they tried to. Well, they I, they cared until Shane said, Burn in hell, you son of a bitch. That was and everyone all in use yeah. said, Nice. <laughs> The guns, the drugs, yes. the generation. The drugs the and sex are here. Now come on, this intro come is on. the best. Yeah, it is good. I, I like it too. Startled at, I was startled at one point because I something flashed on my screen and I said, "Who the fuck was that?" And out loud I said, "Was that Steve Blackman?" And was Deb it Steve thought it was Blackman? Tommy, Deb thought it was Tommy Dreamer. I said, "There's no way he made it into that." Yeah, no so way. So I went back and looked. It was uh, black hair and beard, Kevin Nash. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. I was way off. I wish it was Steve Blackman. <laughs> so WCW is gone. ECW is gone. Uh, yes. TNA is rocking here. weekly pay per views. Yes. TNA is here. Um, and WWE has decided they can do whatever they like to do. So tonight we are kicking off Raw with Jerry the King Lawler versus Jonathan Coachman. <laughs> Lawler comes out in white tights. I thought it was just his like. I thought he had super pale legs at first. I said, "What happened to this guy?" It is white tights, black trunks. Crazy fucking That's look. That's crazy. I don't know. He had to be like super pale. <laughs> yeah, those are unbelievable. Un they, that is crazy Kissy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I thought he was coming out to commentate, but no, he's coming out here to wrestle. They're in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, J and this is where Jr. T tells us about Kane. He says, "You know, I thought we'd come on air tonight and inform you that Kane is dead." <laughs> oh, dude, Jr. I so Jr. Like, going into this broadcast with the thought that Kane had died. <laughs> I I definitely was like half listening and like. I got caught off guard and from you. Kane is dead. I said, well, I know, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I had to go back said, and say, whoa, what the hell yeah. happened? He said, that is not the case. The details are sketchy and we'll have an update at the end of this very first match. That He's also sitting there by himself, which I, I tweeted a pretty good screenshot of him sitting there with his button down denim raw shirt. That's a crazy shirt. <laughs> There's a God, lot of Jim we, Ross here at the beginning of this episode. They keep going back to him a ton. He's like the focal point of this yeah, beginning really. thing, and he's not even wrestling. Well, Jerry Lawler almost beat Christian for the Intercontinental title the other week. Yeah. Uh, but Coachman pulled the king out, and then uh, Christian ended up Fuck. beating him. Yeah, Christian rolled him up, held the tights, and then uh, 
Here comes the coach. Dude, what the <laughs> hell is going on? They got the kick of the show with Jerry the King Lawler and John the Coachman is the biggest fuck you we won play I've ever seen, man. That's insane. I, I swear, I uh, I, I that he came out after, and I almost sent Tony an angry DM. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, <laughs> Daddy? What the fuck is this? But no, it's it's okay. Jr. says, "Well, Coach is out here wearing those Texas colors," and well, everyone knows I'm not a Texas fan. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, everybody right. knows. Of that course, wants to know. I guess that's is that the Oklahoma rival. I guess. Shoot, man, I don't know. Roll Tide or something, or don't. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Get her done. Is yes, what sir. I, uh, uh, Jerry <laughs> ends up hitting Coachman with one of those Memphis punches, and then I swear Crowd to God, popped for it. I swear to God, I saw the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What's this? He gets punched, and he backs up, and then Jerry Lawler and Jonathan Coachman fucking lock up. <laughs> they do, you're right. Cannot After the punch. It. Collar and elbow, and then Lawler scoop slam. Crazy. JR says, uh, I venture to say that that was the first time Coach has been slammed in his entire life, and I bet he didn't like it. One dadgum bit. <laughs> dadgum. <laughs> JR was very opinionated this episode. Like, Fuck very, you. very opinionated. That's what he said to Kane the whole time, you fucking bitch. <laughs> he was, yeah, I, I wish he was dead. I wish he would burn his hell. Uh, yeah, Coach then puts Lawler in a side headlock. And JR is now trying to put over Coach and say, you know, I think deep down, Coach is, uh, you know, a hell of a kid. <laughs> He's just, a hell of a but, kid, that's a right. A hell of a kid there, son. Uh, Lawler backdrops Coach, and then here comes... And that's why you put your uh, left foot back when you headlock somebody, dumbass. This guy uh, doesn't even wrestle. He doesn't even wrestle Jonathan well, Coachman. I think that, was, that was the first time he's ever been slammed in his entire life. Well, guess who comes down, because we got to make this even fucking oh, nuttier. No. Here comes Al Snow. Oh. <laughs> Al Snow in a, a black cutoff t-shirt and black pants. What is this guy doing? Yeah, black shirt, black pants, triple tied ponytail, by the way. Also insane. You don't need that many fucking hair ties. Three of them. He says, you're in over your head, coach. He's a wrestler and you're a commentator. And coach is yelling at him, you know, to get to the back. Lawler snatches him up, <laughs> just in an attempt to break his arm. And Al is yelling at him to please stop. Fucking Al says to Coach, come on, you're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing Sunday Night Heat. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> stop. You're embarrassing Sunday Night Heat. <laughs> was there a lot of stock in Sunday Night Heat at the time? That was probably the Was Stevie Richards the GM of yeah, Heat around he was, that too? He was I imagine Stevie so. Night Heat. So Al then asked Jerry Lawler to let him go. And I'll throw in the towel. He said, you let him go, I'll throw in the towel. And Lawler agrees. He, he throws Coach out of the ring. And then Coach and Al are arguing. And Coach shoves him, tells him to get to the back. And then Lawler comes out and punches Coach in the head. <laughs> he throws him back in the ring. And the ref is distracted by Coach for some reason. <laughs> so much so that it gives Al Snow time to jump Jerry Lawler and throw him into the ring post. Throws him back into the ring. Coach... Hits his patented running, jumping elbow drop onto Jerry Lawler and fucking pins him. And he wins. That is crazy. Oh my God, I can't believe this. <laughs> I feel like I just ate a plate of bad crawfish. Sunday night. <laughs> Sunday night, he wins again. <laughs> that Damn is it. crazy, Fuck man. that show. <laughs> Fuck that show. I fucking hate heat. <laughs> We what? got heat now. What is happening on WWE, man? This is crazy. This is a heat angle. This is <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> and Kane is dead. I thought I was going to have to tell you that Kane died tonight, but I, I guess I do not have to do that. <laughs> I don't so, know if he was happy or not. Oh, I think he was, because later on he goes on a tangent. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. So we go backstage after that. Shane walking backstage in crazy-ass jeans and a sport watch. Terry Runnels is chasing after him. Shane. Shane, Shane is alive. Kane you know, lives. <laughs> dude, you know Shane heard her the first two times. Why are you fucking jabroni and Terry, man? Just turn around and you talk to You see the, the way girl. his shirt is tucked crazy style? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> dude, it's fucking crazy. This fit is nuts. It's blue. It's very blue. A lot of blue. He has a sport watch on. <laughs> well, you got to see what time it is, that man. Is He's got to know when the segment is. Man. Terry says the images we saw going off the air last week were nothing short of disturbing. Well, thank God he didn't throw you into that dumpster. But when the fire was extinguished, Kane was simply not there. Aren't you concerned? And Shane says, well, I hope the bastard's still burning. 
she, she, he's, he wasn't there. <laughs> That's a shame. He, checked, the- he, he, check, he watch checks himself and says, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, and then he walks away. Terry grabs him as he walks away and says, please be careful out there. And she, get the fuck off get me, off me man. man. Did you see I got these jeans and his shirt and his watch I'm on? Great. You think I'm worried about anything? I was ho- I'm going to ho- I'm gonna kill more people tonight. I'm going to book Kane to say. look like a bitch tonight. Back off. <laughs> I'm ruining this gimmick. I'm doing it. I swear <laughs> to God, I'm doing it. I will ruin it. I promise you. <laughs> Absolutely. I am the fucking giant killer. I don't I'm give a fuck. One bad Big day show. away from ruining the Royal Rumble. I swear to God, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking to fuck away from me, yeah, yeah. I'm ruining the Royal Rumble. <laughs> I'm going to retroactively fuck up SummerSlam. You better fucking relax. Uh, we got backstage Al Snow and the coachman are celebrating. <laughs> Two segments. <laughs> this is crazy. The only people we have seen tonight, JR, Jerry Lawler, Al Snow, Shane Terry, and the fucking coach. This is fucking 20 minutes into the show. I feel like I just ain't okay a bad crawfish. I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because of you. Paul. <laughs> Eric Bischoff comes up and he's pissed. What the hell are you thinking? What are you doing? They're both celebrating. And he says, what are you thinking? Well, let me be the first to congratulate you guys. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And they all shake hands and laugh, of course. Oh, my God. They were in cahoots the whole fucking time. Damn you, Eric Bischoff. You and your fucking hair. <laughs> well, guess what? Who is not in cahoots with the boys? Who? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, hell yeah. He, he walks is sweating in. like crazy. Dude, it why is, is it so back like, there? He's sweating like it's a fucking 5.45 a.m. deadlock podcast recording. <laughs> Dude, they probably had to do like 20 takes of this or something. Somebody kept fucking <laughs> yeah, it up. So Stone Cold sweating like crazy. <laughs> Stone Cold comes he taps Bishop on the back, and they all turn around. They're all afraid of Austin. He says, you, know, you wish you would have thought. Because Bishop says, oh, I wish I would have thought of that. And Austin says, you wish you would have thought of what? Huh? <laughs> and you? looks at coaching you proud of yourself you think you're special is that what you think stone cold's got to do something special for you and then he walks the gorilla i and cannot believe the- we heard stone cold say you think you're special you think you're just- yeah oh my god how does nobody done anything with that i can't believe it I, that's the first thing i thought <laughs> i said what the hell special. yeah you're, i actually i think i subconsciously thought i didn't write it down though but yeah i think you're right uh so steve austin walks to gorilla uh and yes. then comes out on stage and we're going to have a Steve Austin town hall now. Well, yeah, this was not scheduled. No, no, man. This is actually fucking shitty of him to do (laughs) because the ring is entirely set up for the Jericho highlight reel. And Austin comes out, music, all oh, crowds losing their shit. Austin gets in the ring and just starts fucking up the set. <laughs> stupid <laughs> ass gimmick. Fuck this. this stupid that. ass gimmick. Get this out the ring. Stupid Tron. Get this Tron out of here. <laughs> Why do you do that, man? The, I That's thought he was smash. Crazy. Yeah, he fucked up all this. He should have just done the thing. It could have been the Stone Cold highlight. Sit really. in the chairs. Like, yeah, really. But he's a fuck all that shit. You got a beer fuck immediately. That. So Austin says, you know, all I've been hearing from Coach is that JR is Stone Cold's boy, and it's starting to make me sick. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a chance to show what kind of man you are. At Unforgiven JR, I'm going to book you in a match. This, is, what? Cr- this is crazy. <laughs> WCW, <the> <laughs> we got to bring it back. We got to bring it back. <laughs> it's going to be you in one corner, and then in the other corner, it's going to be Coach. Now, hold on one second. I'm getting thirsty out here. And he fucking pops a Miller Lite and just starts drinking. That's crazy. <laughs> Miller Lite is that's insane. <laughs> well, it's just what they had on the house tonight. You know, it's just got whatever they got. No way. Stone Cold would definitely tell them what beers to get. He had I thought, to. You think so? Because I thought it was just always just whatever they fucking get. Was no it always Miller Lite? Way. No, it was Bush Light sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was I'm definitely just a little Miller not, mood it, what, tonight. What was he, he had some bullshit one time, non alcoholic oh, beer. I remember that one Tony time. Tony would too. know what it was. I fucking don't remember. Yeah, it was some bullshit. You're right. Yeah. I remember. It was like not gasoline branded it's beer. Bullshit. <laughs> Steve Austin's supposed to get drunk, man. Austin says, I got a, a mealy mouth some bitch back there called Randy Orton. Call himself the legend killer. I don't, this has nothing to do with anything. No way. Uh, one of the days you're going to be a big, big superstar in this business, but right now you got no business calling yourself a legend killer. No, I don't know that. Why not? <laughs> He's beat up a fucking bunch of legends. Stone Cold's going to see fit to put you in a match and Unforgiven against HBK Shawn Michaels. Hold on, I'm thirsty again. <laughs> <laughs> He says, every airport I go to, everyone's saying, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. And I say, what? Because Stone Cold is my name. <laughs> Crowd pop for that. That is unbelievable. That is straight to the point. You're right. He said, do you think Stone Cold, or do you think Goldberg, 
He's going to kick Triple H's ass and take his title. I say, hell, he might. Hell, he might not. I don't have an answer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Completely useless. Uh, if Goldberg loses his match, I know he's forced to leave the WWE permanently. But seeing as Goldberg's days might be numbered, I thought you guys might want to see Goldberg here in Lafayette, Louisiana. And they all fucking pop. Well, Goldberg wasn't booked already. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. It, it, this is a crazy match to be booked in. Stone Cold is booked JR against Coach at Unforgiven, Randy Orton against Shawn Michaels, and now for the main event of Raw, right now on the spot, because neither Bischoff or Austin had booked the main event yet, it's going to be Evolution in a six-man tag against HBK. This is a pop. Goldberg. Pop. And Maven. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. It's even more insane when we get to the actual fucking match. The match is fucking crazy. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. And then Jericho's music hits. And Jericho says, well, wait a minute here. What do you mean, wait a minute? This was Jericho's time. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's crazy. <laughs> this is nuts. Speaking of nuts, Jericho comes out here in a crazy fucking black leather dip dye hair. This is crazy fucking business that Jericho's yeah, the doing All black here. leather is nuts. I know yeah. it's fucking hot. It's here in Louisiana. Oh, it's got to be yeah, fucking this hot. Is, he must be drenched here. Jericho says, I don't care who you are, Austin. Nobody comes down and cancels the highlight reel. Austin says, well, I just did. And Jericho says, well, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, fuck up. Well, I guess you're right. He's, you trashed my set. You know how expensive this is, you sanctimonious son of a bitch? And I says, well, yeah, I, I do because I wrote the check. Austin's writing checks now? What happened ain't no here? Way he, ain't no way. He is, Steve Austin was just having fun Stone with it. Stone Cold's on the book saying, oh, I got to pay off this Jericho Bill. <laughs> There's no way. He said, let's get WrestleMania 20 over with and uh, I'm out of here. Get out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Jericho says, You mentioned the main events without mentioning the king of bling bling. Ah. He says, Haven't you gotten it through your stupid drunken beard drinking cranium? He said, Clanium, though. Uh, he said, I'm the man these <laughs> ass clowns want to see. He said, Clanium. <laughs> Opinium. <laughs> Opinium. Yeah, how do you? Uh, you had a crazy brain. I don't know. <laughs> Jericho says, as an apology for smashing on my set, I think you need to get down on your hands and knees, kiss my boots, and show me some respect, Junior. And Austin says, first of all, take some bass out of your voice when you talk to me. <laughs> I don't got he time. He just to stressed him down. I said, damn, that's crazy. Man. <laughs> I don't got time to do all that. So there's your respect right there, Junior. And he flips him off. And that was it. And then Christian comes out. <laughs> Jericho had nothing else to say there. Christian comes out, fucking yellow gear, Intercontinental title, very sweaty. Uh, he says, excuse me, Intercontinental champion over here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell awesome. you, you said, we do not care. We hate this fucking guy, and we can't <laughs> wait for him to leave. Please, TNA. And we it. hate his fucking title, and we're never going to fucking defend <laughs> this it This title again. sucks. Kane, why don't you fucking bury it with you, you bastard? <laughs> Christian says, I'm still waiting for my apology from last week. I guess Austin probably stunned him last week or something. Yeah, I'm sure. Austin says, you're still waiting for me to apologize? Well, keep waiting, because it ain't going to happen. You die, And you got anything else you want to bitch about? <laughs> He said, can we get this fucking segment over with? <laughs> I'm sweaty, man. <laughs> Austin says, you know what? You guys you guys can have a match. How about that? You guys, you looking for a fight? Have a match. And uh, Jericho says, all right, Austin. <laughs> you want us to have a match in front of these cage ons? That was crazy. <laughs> There's nobody backstage that could beat us, two sexy beasts. <laughs> and whose asses do we have to kick tonight? And Austin says, oh, well, you got his, and he's got yours. Because it's Y2J versus Christian for the IC title. And JR loses his mind. He says, oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an unbelievable unveiling. What a beast. <laughs> so, again, this show, uh, we've seen nothing so far. Nothing has happened. <laughs> so Christian has a match with Y2J that Steve Austin makes. And this match is... Actually, not bad. Well, the crowd doesn't. Think, well, no, my, I like the match first of all, but the crowd wanted to not like it right away because they immediately it comes back from commercial. They're in the match and the crowd's chanting "boring." They didn't even do anything <laughs> yet. Yeah, yeah boring. Trust, ding, ding, boring. <laughs> they got I, that was Austin's thing at the time, though. I think, but you know, they got Jerry Lawler sitting at commentary in his little singlet. It's <laughs> <laughs> for the whole show. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but Christian, I mean, they were working here. Christian takes a crazy hit off the steel steps on the outside. Um, that, dude, he cactus bumps on it. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, if you do that shit at DPW, you will die. 
Yeah, you please, God, and those things are fucked up, man. Your yeah, shins don't. will be done. <laughs> avoid, the, avoid, 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 avoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, you know, going back and forth, kind of teasing one another. Uh, Jericho tried to cheat, put his feet on the ropes. Christian kind of did the same. They cat fight on the floor, and then the fucking stairs gimmick. Yeah. Uh, so Christian goes for an unprettier, but Jericho reverses into the walls. Um, oh yeah, very good spot. Jericho is always very good at finding ways into the walls here. Uh, him These and guys are fucking good. Shockingly, how about that? Him and Christian work together a lot too. Yeah, that's true. Jericho undid his... He tried to take off the turnbuckle. Earl went and stopped him, and he's fucking with the turnbuckle. And then Jericho undoes his ribs tape just to chill Christian. That was good. I guess it. I guess also, like, WWE uses rope for their turnbuckles and stuff, zip ties, which I guess right. I just... I never thought about before I saw it here. Oh. Huh. Yeah, they just yeah, use I, rope. Yeah, it's <laughs> so like put it back up sense. there. Like it makes a lot of sense, I guess. Actually, it's probably yeah. a lot easier, too. Um, I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know we'll why we down. never tried that. Anyways, yeah, right um, Christian goes for the unprettier. Jericho versus the walls. Christian gets out. Um, Jericho goes for a cross body and then accidentally fucks up Earl Hebner. <laughs> he, he fucking annihilates Earl Hebner. <laughs> I, I love that they could have done anything in the world. Said, You're going to take a cross body tonight, Earl. <laughs> you could have just like back to, or back elbow over something. Said, nah, cross yeah. body. Fuck cross you, body. Man. Easy. Christian grabs the IC title, goes to hit Jericho, uh, but Jericho hits one of the fucking meanest neck breakers. Their timing was off, so Fuck. like Christian just fucking slams his head in the fucking it's mat. It's so loud, too. Yeah, it's rough. Um, Jericho goes for an O'Connor roll, but holds the rope. Uh, Earl Hebner sees that and then Bitch. kicks him away, uh, and then Christian reverses into his own and then holds the rope and Hebner... Does the same ex rope and tights, and Earl doesn't see any of it. <laughs> he does not fucking see it, and Christian wins. <laughs> Gotcha. It's unfucking real, man. Fun fucking match. Fun finish. Uh, these guys are awesome. Uh, Proud. We said we want more coach, man. We want Stone Cold, please. <laughs> uh, we go backstage after that. Steve Austin meets with Shane backstage. Shane's just sitting in the hallway. Shane doesn't have his own locker room, or he's just hanging out in the hallway. Is hot or something. He wants people to see his outfit. Oh, he Can't wants see to see in the, the locker room. Oh, maybe the, the lighting is bad in the locker room and it doesn't shine his watch as well as it should. <laughs> yeah, that watch is nuts. You know you get dirt on that. That'd be just fine. Stone Cold walks up and he says, I was looking for you. I think it'd be best if you just leave because you're trying to ruin you're trying to ruin the Royal Rumble and I just can't. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I will do it too. I promise you I'll do it. I heard you want to make me a ref at WrestleMania, and I just can't have that. <laughs> Dude, that, I mean, looking back at that match, it's crazy. Because they all are fucking gone. That's, like, crazy. The crowd shits on the whole match. They, We have to rewatch that match. I don't know. Is it as bad as I remember it being? Is I, it just, they just we, do I nothing? Think, I can't remember what video game it was I played in recently, where I played it. It was pretty fun in the video game. Sure. Um, but yeah, I for some reason in my head, I'm like, oh man, they showed most of that match. I'm pretty sure they probably cheered for like Austin or something at the end. Well, or Austin stuns bo uh, both yeah, of them. Yeah, doesn't yeah, he? It, yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick. Always got to be on top, son. So, Austin, uh, so I think it best if you just leave because this whole Kane thing, <laughs> this whole Kane thing, <laughs> you know, I was the guy that motivated him, right? He took it to a whole different level, and I don't think you or anyone is safe. And Shane, Shane says, you said, know, no way, I'm not fucking leaving. Kane could electrocute my balls here tonight, and <laughs> I, I'm still not leaving. Kane could come out here and fucking pour water on me and electrocute my nutsack <laughs> while I was handcuffed, and I want to do nothing. Well, that's very specific, Sean. I don't what? think he would do that. That's good. <laughs> he said, I appreciate your concern, but if something's going down tonight, I say bring it on. Uh, all right. If I'm going to get my balls electrocuted, we're doing it tonight. It's going to be out there. Why is Shane not concerned at all? In the slightest. Like, not, like he's not scared that this dude that he just killed is not dead? Because he can't let his family die. RVD, Linder, LRBs. <laughs> <laughs> he's the last of a dying breed. If he Why wasn't down. he even a little surprised that Kane's not dead? Like when Terry told him. He's Kane like, ah. sent him a note. So I have a feeling your whole family's going down. <laughs> First. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. Your balls. I'm coming. <laughs> Kane, Kane writing letters is also a fucked up thought. Put a big ass crayon. Maybe he was texting and he had a signature at the end and it said Kane Big Red Machine. <laughs> it definitely did. With tildes and shit. Big, it was Big Red Font Kane Big Red Machine. This is my last resort. <laughs> I scared of this dude. No way. He's texting. <laughs> Fuck you, man. So we get a SummerSlam video package of Goldberg yes. dominating the Elimination Chamber before Triple H beats him, lol. 
this is crazy. This is crazy. I was like, I'm trying to explain it to Deb. I'm like, I, I don't know why Goldberg didn't win this. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. Goldberg dominates his elimination chamber. Triple H then with the, but this and Triple H with the biker so shorts. over. This is biker short Triple H and Goldberg is disgustingly over here. Yeah, well Triple H said, I got this sledgehammer and I'm going to beat your ass and I'm winning the Fuck chamber. Fuck you. I'm going to hit you with a chamber and I'm going to win and you suck. <laughs> that would have been, been a Goldberg accolade and Triple H said, not on my watch. That's crazy. <laughs> just never, just never beats him ever. That's That'd awesome. be fucking unreal. Biker shorts yeah. Triple H with the sledgehammer. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, Did you not? Are you are you for or against biker shorts, Triple H? That's an insane look. I understand it's because he was hurt, so I don't really care. Now, but what it's about a crazy look? What about purple biker shorts, Triple H? Because I love purple biker shorts, Triple H. Is there a purple biker shorts, Triple H? I don't even remember that. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna look right now because we do our research here. Uh, I, I know and, purple trunks, clean shaven Triple H was. I different. swear, there's purple trunks and there's also purple bikers. That's. Fucked I don't know if I can find it right now. Right. That. That's <laughs> fucked up. All right, well, that's a design I, choice. I understand he had an injury. Purple's a design I choice. Up. I swear I remember that for some reason. Though. I could be just that, could just be Chato Johnny mixing up the purple and the trunk. But I, for some reason, remember purple bikers. Triple H purple trunks with the clean shaven is like, you're losing tonight. <laughs> was he clean shaven with the purple trunks? It was purple trunks, clean shaven. I'm Triple pretty H. sure. Purple Trunks. I know there's a figure of Purple Trunks Triple H. Let's see here. Is that Mania? Even, how do you even find those? Oh, it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, is that where he beats Booker T? Yeah, that's the, the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He beats Booker T. That's the, that's the, uh, you're losing tonight, uh, Trunks. Oh, no. Yeah, those are crazy, oh, man. Deep. Look at this picture. <laughs> Look at this picture. <laughs> Hell yeah! Look at that dude! He's like, that's what he screams when he comes out. I'm winning! <laughs> That's, that's a fucking monster, man. That is a monster. Yeah, Holy shit. That's yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, the purple. The purple yeah. trunks is fucking insane. The bikers, bikers was a crazy look, but I, it was White for an injury. White Boots Triple H also fucking insane. Wow. White yeah. Boots Triple H is gnarly. Yeah, Triple H had a lot of crazy looks, and he wanted all of them. He said, I'm winning. <laughs> You remember them all because they, they bring you back to a moment where you were pissed off that he won. Yeah, he was, there he goes winning again. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's in the vintage white winning boots. <laughs> <laughs> we go backstage. Triple H says that, well, actually, it's on the Tron at first. <laughs> JR is interviewing him on the Tron. No one in the J crowd can hear JR, by the way. So it starts with Triple H saying, you know what, JR? And everyone in the audience is probably like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Yeah, JR says, Triple H, what are your thoughts on facing Goldberg in that six man tag match? <laughs> why did they even have, why did they just have Triple H cut a promo? Because I don't think JR talks by to the him way, again. This promo is nuts. This is like I fuck wish you, Goldberg, Goldberg was dead. Fuck yeah. you. This you is... should have died instead of Kane. Yeah. <laughs> I already buried Kane. I this was tough enough, Triple H coming back two years later. Triple H I forgot. I genuinely just thought off the top of my head. He buried the fuck out of Kane already. That's yeah, crazy. Oh, yeah. He He's, took his he took his mask. <laughs> you stupid, <laughs> ugly bastard. And now on a Goldberg. <laughs> he took his mask and fuck you. Holy Triple H says, shit, I'm anxious based. to get my hands on Goldberg and Unforgiven because I'm sick to death of him. Uh, he says, JR, everywhere I go, I, I, it's the same damn thing. Goldberg, Goldberg. This is He says a lot of crazy shit here. These people, or should I say sheep, these are the same people that believe everything they read in the magazines and believe all the hype. Deep it to be believe the hype, uh, by the way, this weekend. This uh, is a crazy promo. See you on TV. And Goldberg is just hype. He is a mass-marketed, cleverly produced vision of what someone thinks a wrestler should be, but this is what a wrestler should be. They call me the... This is an even crazier line. I don't even understand this line. They call me the game, not because it's a clever name they wanted to throw on me to sell some t-shirts. They call me the game because... I'm in the game. I am the game. It's <laughs> wearing a t-shirt. This is the game on. <laughs> then he says, Goldberg, you are the disease and I am the cure. You are a plague on wrestling. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> you know what he's saying? Goldberg, you are a bitch and you were booked well and that pisses me off. 
Goldberg, you suck, and they pushed you, and you suck ass, man. That's crazy, man. I beat you so many times, and I'm going to continue to beat you, and you'll get one and up on gonna me. you're going to leave. How about that, and buddy? I, How would yeah, I beat you and you leave? Here. Does Go Goldberg wins, and then Triple H beats him right for it, right? Is that what happens? So Goldberg leaves at WrestleMania 20. But Goldberg, so it's Triple H and Goldberg at Unforgiven. Yes, that's right. That's right. And then Goldberg wins, and then... Does Triple H take it back? He's got to take it back, right? Because how else is the match at WrestleMania 20? I, I got to look now. I yeah, gotta, me too. I gotta... All right, there's Unforgiven. Goldberg wins. No Mercy. Oh, No Mercy's a SmackDown pay-per-view. He lost the title at Unforgiven to Goldberg in a match where the stipulation was if Goldberg lost, he had to retire. After yes. failing to win back the title from Goldberg in a rematch at Survivor Series. Oh, he... he okay, so yeah, hmm. okay, go on. Sorry. He finally regained the championship from Goldberg in a triple threat match at Armageddon, which also involved Kane. Oh, after no! <laughs> I'm going to fuck it. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> okay, so he gives Goldberg one more at Survivor Series. Yeah. He puts him over, and then he beats him and Kane. <laughs> Why was Kane in that? Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. I just want you to remember that Kane sucks. That is crazy, man. That's what awesome, man. Fuck? All well. hail the king. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game, brother. Sorry he about is the that game. One. He are, are the game. He's in the I game. I am the game, and I am the game, and I am the <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, get that right, first off. He is not so a mass are... market vision of what a pro wrestler should be, all right? He's the game, man, in the game. You are a plague on... Re <laughs> you are monkeypox of pro wrestling, Goldberg. <laughs> That is fucking nuts. So Goldberg man. walks in and Goldberg says, What's wrong, Hunter? Cat got your tongue. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Triple H said, And he's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He does the very <laughs> Shawn Michaels moment here where he just kind of pretends to be scared. I just want you to think about it for a while. Just like I want you to think about how it's going to feel when I take your title. And that's not a threat, that's a promise. And then he leaves. <laughs> that's, that's all he crazy, gets man. Triple H just said I hope you die and you ruin wrestling and you're I'm gonna a kick your ass <laughs> and you're joking and I'm the game and fuck you so we got a Trish Stratus and Ivory versus Molly Holly and Gail Kim yes uh, last Monday Trish beat Gail Kim I believe it was with the Stratus faction and mm -hmm. then Molly jumped her on the stage and uh, JR is hyping up the match as we go into commercial and the last word you hear before the commercial is JR is saying did I mention puppies Commercial break. He's a uh, fucking Molly Holly is the champion. In his, he's in his gear still. <laughs> yeah, he's he is still in his weirdo. little singlet. <laughs> yes. Um, Gail Kim has a little glasses here. This is a crazy look, by the way. She looks unbelievable here, man. She's um, in crazy shape here. Yeah, she is. Uh, oh, Jerry no. Lawler asked Trish, or asked JR if Trish oh, has a VCR. No. <clears throat> what? Sorry, what the hell is <laughs> What the hell does that mean? <laughs> JR legit just says, what? <laughs> and they like go into a spot so Lawler can't get his shit in. And he has to double back to him, you know, VCR. And Joe, what are you, like a video recorder? Uh, no, you know, a very cute rear. Well, well, I'll have you know, I'm a very happily married man, but I'll say she's very well developed. <laughs> that is crazy! <laughs> you could have just said, yes, she has a cute rear. Why did you say she's well developed? <laughs> She's mash marketed and That's insane. I'm happily developed. married, but she is very well developed. Man, what? That, that's even more perverse, I yeah, feel you like. You should just say, yeah, she does have a cute rear. You know what? I'm happily married, but fuck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He tried to say, he tried to slide off like, yeah, she is very well developed. And then we got a uh, spot and here. And <laughs> yeah. um, Gail was a step ahead of every single person in this match. She was, uh, what? she picked up wrestling very quickly. What a strange run here for her. Cause it doesn't go well. I mean, she gets the belt, but like, I don't think anybody really remembers Gail for her WWE run, but she was like money here. Yeah. Well, WWE did not like her. Fair. They didn't like <laughs> so that was... like Goldberg. <laughs> they didn't like Goldberg. Well, Triple Kane. H did not like Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Trish did a hot tag in this match, which is crazy. I I don't know how many times I've seen Trish do a spine buster, but she broke one out here. She fucking yeah, she f fucked her shit up on it too. Yeah, and then the chick like a sack of rocks, dude. This fucking match has the craziest finish of all time. <laughs> I couldn't even believe what I was looking at. <laughs> this is, yeah, this Gail, is Gail and Molly this Holly do a double team power bomb off the top rope. 
I don't know. Was it supposed to be that? I think so. But it is in fucking sane, dude. So here's the setup for this. This and the mat, the finish is hot too. Trish goes for Stratus uh Stratosphere. Is that right? Oh, I have no fucking idea. What's the she, corner she goes, gimmick called where she does the gimmick she you know, with her she grabs the bottom, flips herself up and Rana off the top. What's she do? What's Stratosphere? Oh, that's called the Frankensteiner. No, Trish has her own version of it. Franken Stratus. <laughs> Stratosphere, I'm pretty sure. So Trish it's goes It's a Frankensteiner, and you will respect Scott yeah, Steiner. I, it's not the Frankensteiner. It's yeah. different. Trish goes for it, and Gail stops her from doing this to Molly. Then she hoists her up, and Gail and Molly both do a double team powerbomb off the second and kill Trish, and Molly pins her and wins. This was awesome. Fucking awesome. I love this. It was a very, actually, a very good match. It was fucking hmm. sweet. Molly and Gail end up winning. Molly and Gail's like a powerhouse team, by the way. This was awesome. Awesome team. Yeah, yeah. And then they hit a double, double, re <laughs> double reverse DDT. <laughs> uh, no, double, sorry, regular DDT on Ivory after that. Just playing or with both of them do a DDT. I was like, that was oh, fucking fuck. sweet. They yeah, they're awesome. They both got sick ass moves. They got tag moves. This is awesome. Keep these two going. And WB said, no way. There is Fuck no you, way. Get out of our company. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Uh, we go backstage. Shane is walking to the back and meets with none other than Vince McMahon. Where was Shane coming from? He was outside. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, he I walks no back idea. into the building. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know. That's weird. And yes, Vince is here, and Shane says, "What are you doing here?" And Vince says, "I well, I got a right to be here." <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm concerned. That all was right. crazy. Well, first of all, I have a right to be here. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm concerned for your safety and uh, your welfare uh, because I've been told that something's something's going to come down tonight. Now, what the fuck did you hear? Because <laughs> then he, he starts going text. into a, he starts going to <laughs> I'm going to kill your son. <laughs> Kane. Kane, big red machine. <laughs> So Vince starts talking. He wants to clear the air with Shane. And he says, you know, maybe I haven't been the greatest dad, but I tried. And I want to know if you forgive me. And I need to know it now. Holy shit. They could have played a montage of shitty ass balls father <laughs> Vince McMahon. I tried. I'm not the best dad in the world, but I tried. What? <laughs> uh, that, how is that not already a compilation of Vince doing something horrible to his family It's only, two, on it's only 2003. And we, <laughs> yeah, have, really? we could do a 20-minute montage. Stephanie... Got crucified and almost forced to marry the Undertaker because of you. Yeah, that, I mean, the whole angle was him being really shitty. Don't you remember that, Shane? <laughs> you were yeah, part well. of it. Don't you, you remember were in this? the group with him. You weren't any better, but you, just, you were taught this way. Come on, man. But Vince knows that Shane is meant to die tonight, and he wants to make sure that they're okay before he dies, which is fucking crazy. So Vince goes to hug him, and Shane stops him, and he says, You're concerned about me? Well, let's see how everyone else is concerned about me out in the ring. What You're the concerned hell? about me. You should be concerned about the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing at Royal Rumble? What are you doing at Royal Rumble? <laughs> That's bad. No, get your ass match. back here. What are you doing at Royal Rumble? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good dad. I'm texting Kane. I'm a Kane. good father. <laughs> Kane will know. <laughs> So now it's time for the Shane McMahon Town Hall. Shane comes to the ring, and Shane says, people have been telling me all night something bad is going to happen. Well, if something bad is going to happen, <laughs> let it happen right now. All right. <laughs> so it does. Yeah, all right. Shane, well, Shane waits around, and then he goes to leave, and then Eric Bischoff's music hits. Bischoff comes out, and JR says, well, here is a Shane on the underwear of life, Eric Bischoff. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very well developed. <laughs> No. Bischoff says, no. I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> he says, uh, Shane. Oh, Shane says, if you're the bad thing that's supposed to happen to me tonight, then that's a joke. And Bischoff says, you think I'm a joke? Well, how about I get in that ring and kick your fucking ass? <laughs> Which awesome. is, he was going to fight him. And up until the, py the fucking pyro going off, he was going to get in the ring and fight Shane. Unless this was, of course, planned by... Bischoff. The pyro goes off and JR says, Oh my god! <laughs> Just flipping out. He's the not lights, dead. He's not dead. And the lights go out. JR says, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> All right. Lights come back on and Kane is in the ring. He's here. And he has, well, 
He has burns on his arm dude. and his wrist. Dude. He's okay. He's doing pretty okay, actually. Dude, he got <laughs> slammed and jammed in the most on-fire dumpster of all times, and ah, my arm hurts. Kane, he couldn't have been any less hurt here, actually. He, like, he had some burns on his wrist and his arm, and they were taped up. But, like, his face is fine? His face? The thing that is most notorious for him having burnt before, his face is completely okay? Dude, uh, dude, Kane is attacking Shane here, and the whole time on commentary, JR is like, look at this hideous freak. <laughs> look at this fucking burnt It's just Kane a with a fucked up haircut. <laughs> it's not even, it's not disfigured. Or fucked up haircut in two just patches just, on his, two bandages. It's just Kane with a fucked up haircut. It's not <laughs> Kane looks like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this hideous fucking freak. <laughs> Barbara gave a fade and Cage came to work and they're just roasting the shit out of There's him. There's nothing else they could like. They could, like you monster. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't have like made him one night couple weeks put on the full dude, Snitsky looked again. uglier than Kane, dude. Snitsky was fucking brutal. That's true. Kane is a normal looking dude a fucked up haircut. You freak! <laughs> he's, just an, he's just an ugly guy. <laughs> yeah, really? That's fucking crazy, man. You you, oh my god, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> look at his line. He is, he is underdeveloped. <laughs> That's an underdeveloped son of a they bitch were, right there. They convinced this guy to do this egg where they roast him all the time. Yeah, that's... <laughs> make sure to call him ugly a bitch. Yeah, he's a freak, isn't he? Fuck Look him. at him. Look at his haircut. He's a freak. But they could, like, like, maybe force him to put the... <laughs> force him to put the mask back on for a couple weeks or the outfit or... No, just fucking... Fucking they bullshit, didn't make man. him just smear fucking doo doo sauce on his face <laughs> like Snitsky. <laughs> you want to make him ugly? Then fuck him up. You want to do the angle? Fuck him up. Kane had had enough at that point. He's not doing any more. He's like, no, nah, I'm not. He's not that even hit. He's just a dude. He's just like he's, a tall glass of poop juice. He's just he's an not ugly. ugly. He's just fucking not good looking. <laughs> RVD even said it like, you fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> He's the He's just same a guy, guy, man. Yeah. So Kane is whooping Kane's like one of the ass. only dudes to take the mask off. He's ugly as hell. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <no>. Infamously <laughs> hot wrestlers under masks forever until Kane showed up. Kane oh. would fucked up oh. Kane, man. That's messed up. <laughs> he kept it, too. He said, this looks hot. God. <laughs> Ah, that's hot. Yeah, that Vince got told that when he came backstage. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, good, pal. Good, good, good. Pal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way yeah. you cut it right down the middle of your head. <laughs> I like. Uh, that's why. <laughs> surprised Tyson Kidd didn't get a push more. Yeah, yeah that, that, haircut. That was fucked up. Yeah, that was <laughs> the little crown. Yeah, that was that crazy. The, Italia, good for you or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the episode of Total Divas where uh, where Tyson Kidd said, "I do not want to have sex with you." There's no I way. I need to watch the G one. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Best of the Hiroki, Super Juniors is on. Dude, Hiroki Goto is on TV right now. We're watching him now. Please get your titties out of here. I Fuck have you. to watch Juju Liger tonight. That was <laughs> awesome, man. Kane is whooping his ass. And then Kane grabs handcuffs. He pushes him against the ring post and handcuffs him to the turnbuckle. So his hands are above his head. Very sexy. And then he puts the stairs... Uh, back into place where Shane is to lock his legs in there, which I thought was a cool fucking... That was, that was cool. I did thought that was yeah. cool. He didn't have to do that. Um, no, did not, but it was cool. Then Kane starts... He grabs a bottle of water and starts splashing it on him. JR is very confused. <laughs> what the... Oh, that's that gasoline. <laughs> no, that's water. <laughs> what is he doing there, son? Kane pulls out jumper cables, and then he pulls out a battery. Well, there's only one thing that can happen next. <laughs> So he attaches both jumper cables to it's two jumper cables, one for each ball. And <laughs> JR <laughs> which is I mean very, you know, he's thinking of this ahead. He made sure that both of these testicles are handled properly. And even JR says, oh, "I hate to say, it, but he attached them to change testicles." <laughs> 
I hate to say it. Yeah, I hear you on that. Then Kane starts electrocuting Shane's balls. And then Shane looks like he's going to come. <laughs> he was coming. <laughs> he was super into it. <laughs> Hell yeah. He, he kept doing a zoom in on his face. <gasps> oh. <sighs> he was sweating. He coming. I hear you, like, man. I mean, look crazy. at this hideous freak. He's real into that shit. Ugly bastard style. He's crazy as hell. Kane had a week to figure out his revenge. You think Plotting. Kane would just like stab him with a knife or something? He's a nah. his revenge. <laughs> the testicles are mine. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I wanna, he probably texted him to you, I'm going to fucking shuck your nuts, man. <laughs> Kane, big red machine. He probably he looked at him and said, who the hell's texting me? I ain't seen this. is this? So he just says, Kane, the big red monster. This is my last resort. Kane. Who the hell is this? <laughs> of all the things, uh, the this, this sadistic bastard come up with, not try to set Shane on fire again, or kill him, or kill his dad who is also in the building. I'm gonna fucking handle these balls, man. These balls are mine. Yeah, I'm I mean, Shane, these this hideous freak, loves making <laughs> Shane hair. man come, and he knew how to do it. He said, I'm gonna make you come so. on TV tonight. And he sparked that bitch up. That's the only way Shane can get off. <laughs> He did him a favor. Yeah, he said, hey, if we're going to come tonight, I'm coming out of the ring right now. <laughs> like, we're going to do this. We're going to do it right now. <laughs> so Shane is coming. Kane's electrocuting his balls. And then here comes RVD. Just, <laughs> Shane's still over there coming. RVD's trying Shane's, to stop the attack. Why you stop? Why you stop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he couldn't kick, he couldn't kick RVD because his legs are locked, but whatever. RD comes out and starts smashing Kane in the head repeatedly with a chair. And JR says, scramble that son of a bitch's brain. He's crazy. <laughs> Kill him. Kill Kane. Die. Die, die Kane, you fucking ugly bitch. That's fucking you are brute for a kid. I hate you. That's fucking crazy. So he fucking brains Kane with his chair. Then he goes off. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. RVD grabs one of the jumper cables and he, he, he well, at first he walks up to the chain. He's like confused. Like, whoa, whoa, what is it? What happened here? And he takes one of the jumper cables off. And then he like stares at it confused. And says, Take the other one off, man. What are you doing? You fucking idiot. And then he finally takes the other one off. And he gets back in the ring. And he starts whooping Kane's ass. And JR says, look at that badass Van Dam. I hope he beats Kane's ass. Eat some steel, Kane, you dirty, no good <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Just, just fucking, fucking This evenly. is like crazy. Angry. Yeah, this is like crazy, crazy shit, man. He's flipping out. And RVD does. RVD whoops his ass. Van Dam, drop kick with the chair in the corner. ECW chant. Fucking Van Daminator. <laughs> Kane's bleeding. <laughs> what? The? And then he just leaves. Kane leaves. What are you doing? Kane's got to get, get the fuck back, out of here. His job is done. Him. Eric Bischoff said, make Shane McMahon come. And he did. And he's out. And he's out of here. He's got to freshen up that haircut. <laughs> How did he get the cuffs off? I, I would probably just broke him up. Broke him? Okay, yeah, yeah, broke him up. Put his ass on a gurney. He's in my balls. I jar it. I'll rush it. And then they play RVD's music. And that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> it. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. This is like Kane died, didn't die, came back, played with Shane's balls, and then got his ass whooped. Based. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just as planned. Backstage segment. <laughs> Kane is pissed off at Eric Bischoff. They also recap what happened, by the way. And during the break, Shane got stretchered out. Yeah, he was holding fucking gurneyed. Holding his balls and looking at them. Very concerned. <laughs> Just holding them. Well, Kane is backstage, pissed off at Eric Bischoff. Bleeding, uh, too. Because, you know, RVD fucking attacked him. He said, I was supposed to do my job, and I did my job, and now RVD's pissed. Yeah, Bischoff said, RVD wasn't supposed to be back, and next week it'll be Kane and RVD in a steel cage. All right. Uh, you know, putting Kane with Eric Bischoff is... A surefire way to kill the gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, he's he's already back to bowing to authority. Yeah, that's a surefire way to kill that shit. So yeah. shout out, you ugly bastard. So Bischoff <laughs> makes bitch. Kane versus RVD in a steel cage match. Yes. Uh, for some reason, that makes Kane happy. He because he's locked in a cage with RVD. Oh, he could man. just go beat RVD he up could right just now. Go stab him. Yeah. He could go kill him now. Yeah, no. Whatever. All Hurricane right. and Rosie versus La Resistance. The hits keep coming. This We're out here. 
<laughs> this is not only just Rosie, but it is shit Rosie. No, Superhero man. in training, of course. And JR on commentary is talking about La Resistance, and he says, oh, you know, they hate America, they hate Canada, they hate everything but French. Well, I got a suggestion for you. Why don't you drag your ass back to Paris and get yourself a job? He said, get a job. Why don't you get a job? That's that is crazy. crazy. Get a job. Rose has got a job. And they're talking about... <laughs> Rosie's in training right now. He's training for a job. Get a job. He's doing his onboarding right now. $5, $10, <laughs> get a job. Get a job. Go to France. Uh, and then they start talking about the Keen stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, no good bastard. He starts talking about the Keen shit again. And he says, that had to be premeditated. That couldn't have been by coincidence. Well, fucking, well, yeah. <laughs> the batteries are the ring, yeah. Well, they charged the ring before the show. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? JR also says, this is a non-title world tag team title. World tag team title. I'm trying to say. Go back to France. Get a job. <laughs> Go fuck off. <laughs> Some promoters watching this match right now. He's like, damn. This is what I'm doing. I can I'm pack booking, a house. I'm packing with a house. <laughs> <laughs> I am tapped into the ruthless aggression era and La Resistance and hey, Hurricane and Rizzi, is, This is it. This is a 10,000 seat fucking match this right is here. It. <laughs> Look at this building. Look at this raw. The people are here to see this tag match. <laughs> uh, by the way, nobody at La Resistance wearing wrist tape. This is fucked up. It's fucked up. They don't have any jobs. It, that means they're not wrestlers. They have no wrist tape. JR fucks up talking about the match, and Lawler says, how, how can it be a non-title tag match? And JR says, well, I'm having problems here tonight. I'm going to match it on Forgiven. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude, did you see this come up on the screen? They had some random WrestleMania 20 like page fold come up on the screen. Oh, no. Uh, maybe I missed that. Top I left, blinked. no reference. They just I keep moving. Out. Nothing Wait, happens. Really? And it disappears. Yeah, it's just randomly That's at the like, start of this match. Yeah, no clue. Was Shane pressing buttons back. I'm going to fuck no, this show up now. It's just a page fold. And then it That's goes back weird. up. What was right. on it? It was, just, no, it was just the WrestleMania logo? 20 logo, and that's it. And then it went away. No reference. It, no no date? No nothing. Just WrestleMania 20. <laughs> no, no, I just away. remember it. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Cool. Um, I don't know what the hell Hurricane did here. Uh, there was a reversal spot in this match before the hot tag to Rosie. Did you, did, did you see this? Where he like reverses out of a move and then like d just like throws his body on the ground and somehow... Oh, yes. Yeah, what the fuck happened there? I that have was no like, idea. Crazy fucking reversal. He, did he like... Was he... Was he supposed to bump and he just fucked up or something? Or? I have no idea. It worked. You know, yeah, it was, no, sure I it couldn't believe it. But yeah, um, I don't know. Hurricane also hit the uh, Here Comes the Pain running Hurricane clothesline in this match. Oh, he did. Yeah, that's part of his comeback. <laughs> you gotta Unbelievable. Do yeah, it was perfect. I was like, wow, that's exactly from that. That fucking move is annoying as hell, by the way. Dude, I spam the shit out of that move. Yeah, I love doing that. Very this. fucking annoying. Because like you, run, you can do it from like so far back. And it gets and hard it to reverse. Still, it would still hit. Yeah, yeah. There's the, the box word is crazy. Hurricane had some crazy ass moves. He also had the the handshake, and then like you were just fucked. He would just go for the handshake, and then you would get hit with a move. And he had the stance, the idle stance. The oh, fucking stance was fucking cool too. Um, so Vaughn jumps off the top here. Hurricane catches him with a goozle or a frog splash, or he drops him. Either one. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Rob Conway comes out from I nowhere can't believe it. and hits Hurricane with the tag belt. And JR refers to Rob Conway as the master of disguise. <laughs> he's not even disguised. <laughs> he's, he's just in his street a, clothes. <laughs> he's dressed up as a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Get your ass back to France. <laughs> and then Sylvan pins Hurricane for the win. This Fuck. is insane. Did you see the so, did you see the fucking hot tag Rosie get a shoulder roll double clothesline? That was nuts. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's out of control. Oh yeah, that's right. I wrote Rosie tags in and clotheslines everyone. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Crowd hot for it. Uh then after the match, Rosie gets in, bumps Sylvan. Conway gets in, tries to hit him with a belt, but then he ducks, and then he hits fucking Conway with a sit out catatonic. Yeah, the fucking with catatonic. Fuck you, awesome. man. That was sweet. Yeah. And then Renee Dupree hits Rosie so fucking hard with his title. It makes a crazy. It. Yes, it's so loud. And I think the pieces of it fall on the fucking floor. He hits him so hard That's with his fucking thing. Boy, that would not happen if he was wearing wrist tape as well. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Sylvan gets on the mic and says, Renee, get the tables. And then shockingly, he says, get, get the it. table, and JR cannot get over it. He says, oh, get the table. <laughs> get the, get the, the table, one, huh? one table. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so they set up a table, and shockingly, the Dudleys run out, attack them, 
and then go to put them through the table. But they uh, are unable to put Conway through the table because Sylvan and Dupree drag him out. But I, for a split second, I was like, oh my god, is this the Spike Dudley? <laughs> but it was not the Spike Dudley. Oh, thank Dudley. god, no, yeah. Yeah. Or not, because yeah. I kind of want to see it again. But yeah, I that was, to see that's a well, rough-ass ass bump. Holy that shit. That is unfucking believable So, yeah, the Dudleys... Okay. What... It's like they it, when they came out, they had to like wait a second, <laughs> like they weren't in they position. Were, yeah, Bubba was or, sprinting as fast. Yeah, as <laughs> you think they were late for the spot, or I don't what know. happened there? I don't know what happened. I don't know. Because the are set it up and are taunting for a good like fifteen seconds. Yeah, they are, and uh, Bubba finally sprints down there and says, "Hey, how's it going?" And they yeah, and they so good. Glom woman. Um, Rod Conway being master of guys in street clothes is insane for me. But <laughs> you know, I, I didn't even recognize like, him as Rob Conway. That down like three times. Jr. says that's Rob Conway. Oh, I there that's is a no master way. of disguise. He knew it was Rob Conway. <laughs> what the fuck is the disguise? <laughs> that is insane. I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> he knew immediately. Even crazier. Who he was. <laughs> Uh, so after that, uh, we go backstage. Terry Runnels is with Maven and asks yes. Maven how he feels about being in the tag match tonight in the main event. This is the biggest night of your career. You and HBK and Goldberg, how are you feeling? And Maven says, I'm excited. I can't believe a main event, Raw, against Evolution. I, you know, I can't help but think tonight is my night. And then Flair and Orton walk in and Flair says, fuck you. <laughs> Dude, Maven cuts the most call ass response. Like, that's what happens yeah. when you just press X as quick, quick as possible in the game. Yeah. Just, just, just I'm excited tonight. This. I'm excited. I'm going to have a good time. This match is gonna I'm going to work really hard. Career. Yeah, exactly. And then Flair yeah. and Orton come in and say, oh, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Woo. I think this is going to be really shitty. And I think you're going to beat your ass tonight. And then he goes, oh, okay, well, bye. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. He just gets jabroni. <laughs> Flair says, we're going to make sure this is your night. So good that you get to wrestle against a 16-time champion. You get to wrestle against a world champ, Triple H. You get to wrestle against Randy Orton. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, I knew the match. He says, I'm a damn good judge of talent, and you got a lot going on, but you don't got what it takes to be an evolution. Oh, that sucks. And Orton says, you don't understand. Oh, that maybe, sucks. <laughs> maybe tonight you will understand that evolution has passed you by. And Ric Flair says, woo, and fuck you, and leaves. So Randy Orton and Maven are... You know what's weird is they're in similar positions here. The only difference is Randy Orton's in the group of Triple H. Maven could... Surely have been Randy Orton. <laughs> Which is crazy to think about. Very similar starts to their career. I mean, tough they enough for kicks. Maven. But two drop kicks. Both did top rope cross bodies. Uh, both they were working, did, baby. They, they, I mean, Maven it was just tough enough for Randy Orton. OV, it just Randy Orton was OVW 2002 Randy Orton. Uh, so that's see, just that all different deal. was crazy. <laughs> 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 it's just a whole different beast. But if uh, Maven had a different career path, there's I, it could have been enough, that probably hurt him a lot, really. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, it probably yeah. gave him a career. Uh, yeah, so, but oh, it probably I mean, also sure. it's glass ceiling his career pretty yeah, hard. You know, gift and a curse. Uh, backstage still, Shawn Michaels finds Maven in the locker room. Yes. Um, HBK says this is a big shot for him, and he knows that you know the evolution probably got in his head already. Um, HBK yes. says. Uh, you know, you probably have not earned this shot to be honest with you. Maybe say, "Now you hey, hey, fuck, hey, shut the, the fuck, fuck up!" And that's why Brett is better, and that's why Vader is going over on you next time I see you. That's why HBK says, "Chill, chill, stop, chill." Up. You did just okay. You earned this, okay? Yeah, yeah you, you earned earn this. this. That's right. And 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 I don't want anybody to tell you different. That's what he says. And that's a segment. So HBK <laughs> is just kind of hyping up Maven for this main yeah, event tonight, trying to give him a little pep talk here. Uh, we go backstage again, still backstage. Teddy Long with Mark Henry and Rodney Mack. And he asked Stone Cold. Stone, asked Stone Cold Steve Austin, why the fuck were we bumped off this card? He says, you know, you make a match with Jericho and Christian, but what about Mark Henry? Or the master of thugging and bugging, Rodney Mack? That's real. <laughs> What's up with the brothers getting bumped off Raw? And Austin says, nothing about bumping the brothers. <laughs> this is, Steve's, Steve's response is insane. I had a match, and I had to take a match away, and now I got other things to do, player. And he just walks away. He says, player, and walks away. <laughs> He's just, I bumped the brothers. I never do that. <laughs> well, Steve Austin sees RVD backstage. Whoa. And then does RVD's taunt. <laughs> well, yeah. well, if it ain't good, RVD. You cool with that cage match or, or what? And Arby says, yeah, I'm cool. I'm, I'm very cool. Yeah, hit that, hit that line. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he said, whatever. Yeah, I'm not, but I, you know, I don't want to wait two hours for the match. I want to make me versus Kane the very first match on Raw. I can't wait to get that ugly bitch in a cage. Oh, my God, you <laughs> ugly freak. 
<laughs> Say he's ugly. <laughs> no, no, right, that's a good idea. Yeah, he is ugly. He is too. Uh, he's ugly bastard. Play <laughs> <laughs> Uh, backstage still. Uh, Stacy Keebler is backstage chilling, waiting for a match tonight. She's stretching. Um, Test is here, and he's been treating Stacy like property. And you know, you keep treating and her like that, you're gonna lose her. Tripping juice. Oh yeah, he's fucked oh, up. <laughs> <laughs> he is out of control. Yeah, he is fucked up. Stacy says, "You're making me look like your property. You know, first you make me dance for your friends. Now you make me carry your bags." Deb says, "Get my that's bags." What I do. Deb said, "That's what I do." I said, "Fuck out of here, man." That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and Stacey says, you're a jerk, and I don't trust you. And Tess says, listen, I can't blame you if you don't trust me, but we're a team again, and we were a great team before. And remember the testicle thing? Remember the testicles? People love the, that. Stacey, you remember the testicles? <laughs> that was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're, we're going to have this intergender match tonight, and you know what? We'll come out to your music too, okay? And she's happy about that. So they're, they're, they're on the same page here. A Raw is brought to you by Once Upon a Time in Mexico. <laughs> Snickers. JR all, loves that shit. All JR loves your Snickers. That's what he says. Hey, casual GTX. Just Forever. your car is going to die. <laughs> fucking four, put my Snickers in my GTX in Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Test and Stacy versus Victoria and Steven Richards. That's fucking. Not crazy. mixed tag, intergender. Yeah, this is. Yeah, not. they And JR specifically says. That he says, uh, this isn't a mixed tag where it's men against men and women against women. Do men can wrestle the ladies? They signed a contract. <laughs> they signed a contract. Stevie is getting lit up by chops by Stacy, and Stacy is actually doing some pretty good fucking chops here. She is. I was shocked. Hey, this is also a no DQ match. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. You're right. So they announced, Lillian announces that as Stacy and Tess are making their entrance, and they're both confused, but I imagine Tess had something to do with this. You remember the testicles, Tess? You remember that? <laughs> that was Stacy Keebler's idea. That was her idea. Get man. My bags. All my friends. <laughs> rider. Hey, let them know. Hey, that's true. Um, Steven Richards out here with a pink bandana and Stevie Night Heat. Uh, and guy. you're right, Stacy chopped the fucking shit out of Stevie yeah, Richards. Man. You will feel that was the awesome. pain tonight. That was uh, cool. Stevie then tagged himself in, slapped Stacy's ass, and then doggy the... style pump handle. Dude. There's no way. <laughs> I Stevie! It. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was fucking like, oh hell, God. man! Kicking the, are we kicking the shit in the doggy style in 2003? I could. He tagged her. He slapped her ass. I said, "What are you doing? Doggy style pump handle." <laughs> hey. Hey. He it, yeah, he gets it and clotheslines the shit out of Stevie. Then Tess is firing up for the hot tag. He's in the corner. Baby face fire in the corner. Stacy's crawling for that tag. And Tess jumps off the apron. Oh, no. He's doing the thing. Very confusing, though. This doesn't, This it doesn't, like, he doesn't this just is actually this, this is actually a crazy, like, this whole thing is crazy. Yeah. I don't even know how they all remembered all this shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, so um, Stevie and Victoria start stomping out Stacy. Mm -hmm. Tess gets in to help. He holds her arms. So Victoria goes to slap her. Stacy moves. Victoria slaps Test. Test gets angry about this, then hits Stevie with a pump handle slam, and then Victoria low blows Test. So they're all not on the same page again. <laughs> then Stacy goes to slap Stevie. He catches her wrist and clothesline her. And then Scott Steiner, <laughs> baby! Holler if you hear me! Scott Steiner runs in, gets caught up in the apron. He's he in trips. jeans. <laughs> He's in jeans, no shirt. And he throws, huh? Steve <laughs> <laughs> he throws Stevie over the top, catches a kick from Victoria. Test goes to Big Boot Steiner, misses and hits Victoria. And then Steiner. Steiner lines. Yeah, fucking Steiner lines him over the top. They brawl outside. Stacy gets the pin on Victoria. What the fuck? This Scott is Steiner crazy. the worker jeans. <laughs> this is St Steiner coming out. I swear I almost lost my phone. I was like, holy fucking shit, man. He tripped on the apron. <laughs> That's, this is the most Scott Steiner ass thing I ever seen. Hey, test. Huh? No one. <laughs> cool. No one ever talks about this one. This one's awesome. Oh, yeah, this is great. Steiner, kept, they were fucking with this ring. They were trying to fuck on Scott Steiner. I feel yeah, like I every so single too. time they you, there was some bullshit going on. Yeah, well, make that apron a little tighter. Yeah, you ain't tricking me. That's where the battery was at earlier. This is fucking gimmick. Can we so Steven, Steven grabs Stacy, and then Steiner comes back in, chops the fucking shits out of him, belly yeah. to belly. Yeah. Tess then grabs Stacy and then pulls her away and leaves. This is the craziest match of all time. Steiner is screaming from the ring. 
You're at my desk. Get in here, you son you of a bitch. Him, <laughs> the screaming. camera's nowhere near the ring. This is like crazy. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, Unforgiven brought to you by Soul Calibur 2 on the PlayStation 2. Did you fuck with that game? Soul Calibur was the craziest, when I was young, was the craziest fighting game of all time, bro. Those that, characters feel, are fucked I, up in Soul Calibur. I never got into Soul Calibur, but like I remember like my friend rented it from Blockbuster one time and had it at my house, and I was like, what? I used to what rock is, Soul Calibur every time I'd go to Walmart and look up at the little TV and play the game. Oh, they used to have Soul Calibur all the time. On that's that awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sick. sick. Yeah. Uh, we have Evolution versus HBK, Goldberg, <laughs> and Maven. Did you see the graphic before this for the RVD Kane match where it's, you know, they do the motion graphic for RVD and Kane, and then it's like a a drawn cage flying all <laughs> over the fucking place? <laughs> it's like, it, what the fuck is happening here? It's it's flying all over the screen. It's unbelievable. Yeah, That's check awesome. that out. Yeah. So, yes, Evolution, which is Triple H, Flair, and Orton against HBK Goldberg and Maven. <laughs> what the fuck? Evolution has their short-lived uh, intro to the Evolution theme here. They eventually get rid of this. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I don't know why they had that or why they got rid of it. Um, so Sean attacks Randy before Goldberg finishes his entrance here. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, hat still on, beating his Dude, ass. Goldberg does Goldberg entrance. Backstage walk. No security. Doesn't need it. it. Was that always that way? You're not over enough, kid. You're a pussy. Why would anyone? <laughs> why would you're anyone be afraid of, of what you're doing? I just thought that was real weird. I was like, oh, that's fucking Goldberg's just well, walking was, from his locker room. It's kind of like his run in general. It's like, all right, how can we speed run the WCW stuff and just get all this shit in real quick? Yeah, you're right. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah, um, Randy Orton has the tights that he decides to wear for the next twenty years on tonight. <laughs> it's good luck. Which is crazy. It's crazy, yeah. man. Triple H um, does not keep this look, of course. Dude, Flair was the one running Maven through his shine. You're right. He was. He's... Triple H said, I am not doing that shit. Fuck I'm that. You, know that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have that. Maybe Flair liked the kid. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Uh, well, yeah. That was all Maven got this whole match. So yeah, I that mean, was it. I mean, his match is 20 more minutes and Maven dude, does nothing. This match goes forever. Like, this is a very I mean, common wrestler thing. So like. The heat that they get on Sean goes so fucking long. It just yeah, goes so fucking long. It is uh, rough. This um, is HBK like a, lines everyone out of the ring, does a house show dive that flips. There's a little fucking flip. That's true. He did it. do that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Flair low blows HBK. Um, I thought he was bleeding. I thought Flair started bleeding at that point. <laughs> he uh, he rolled on behind the ref's back, and then Maven tried to get in, but Earl told him to fuck off. And then like, they just you're done. To get, you're doing nothing else. Yeah, match, yeah, go buddy. away. You are. Don't, you're not tagging in. Don't even look at you. Get, go back. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of my company. <laughs> so they just continue to get fucking heat on HBK until HBK does the comeback, the flying elbow. Uh, Orin tags in. Goldberg tags in, and. Goldberg Dude. is just holy fuck. Goldberg's Easy awesome. night of work for Goldberg. He uh, hits the classics and they're all HBK awesome. HBK got all the heat. Maven did the shine. Goldberg sounded the apron for 20 minutes. They tag in <laughs> Goldberg. Fucking beats the dog shit out of everybody except Dude. for one man. <laughs> <laughs> Who also got him or he glommed him earlier too. Uh, Goldberg does the press slam into world's strongest slam to Orton. He hits a fucking awesome <laughs> spear on Flair. Flair he, eats like shit, yeah. Yeah, Flair dies into the ropes with this one. Orton fucking gets killed. Oh, Triple H then gets in and gloms Goldberg. <laughs> it cuts then, him off, man. Fucking yeah. hell. Cuts him off, powders, Goldberg gets up, spears Orton. <laughs> Triple H, I love this. I need to get mine this, up. this crowd is going nuts, by the way. They're chanting Goldberg. Yeah. I mean, this place is erupting. And I'm Triple H... It. I, I, Triple H called to Goldberg. He was like trying to call to him. I guess Goldberg couldn't hear him because they were going so, yeah. so like crazy. And then Triple H goes, big line. <laughs> and Goldberg is <laughs> the big line. That's awesome. <laughs> he fucking destroys Randy Orton, you bitch. <laughs> Goldberg sets up for the jackhammer. Triple H is on the apron having a stare down with him. Goldberg lifts him up, points at Triple H, hits the fucking jackhammer and pins him. And Maven wins. <laughs> Beast. Uh, so Easy Maven, now has a, Maven now has a win over Triple H, Orton, and Flair. Triple H leaves with a title, and him and Goldberg are talking shit to each other on the way out because fuck you, Goldberg. That's and nuts. 
JR says, Goldberg is one step closer to by God unforgiven. As the classic JR fucking end line that's always He's good cool. at it, man. He's yeah. good at it. I, I give it a much. Yeah. To, to end the show, but uh, what a fucking... Uh, I don't want to fucking watch Unforgiven, man. <laughs> that just sounds like shit. Maven W? <laughs> well, Maven's on that show. Oh, no, he's not. Sorry. He's in the dark match. Oh, get... He beat Stevie. They said, this is going to be so good for your career. They do Testin Steiner, Orton Michaels, Trish and Lita and Molly and Gail, Shane Kane, Jericho Shane and Gale. RVD and Christian? Okay. Wait. The semi-main to Unforgiven is Lawler and JR against Al Snow and Coach? Are we out here? <laughs> it goes eight minutes. Yeah, that's rocking up. And Jericho gets a big hot tag and that shit, too. <laughs> that's all. We got to watch that? <laughs> that's probably crazy. Wow. So that was... Raw from September 1st, 2003. Uh, Kane loves to electrocute balls. You hideous balls. freak. He is an ugly <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Why? Like, what the You are fuck? so ugly, you fucking freak. Nothing else he could have thought of, huh? No way. Hey, why don't you go talk to Eric Bischoff? <laughs> He's got an idea for you. Oh, 